Hello, today we will talk about character assassination. My name is Eric Shiraev. I teach at George Mason University, Virginia. And within just few minutes, I'll tell you what I do and what my colleagues who work with me on this fascinating project do. Character assassination uh, is a subject which, which is uh, very complex and um, uh, very uh, uh, well uh, complicated and difficult to describe at first. But to define this, let me show the definition. It's a, it's a deliberate destruction of a person, person's reputation or credibility through character attacks. Subject which has been known for humankind for centuries. And yet we only today, these days, begin to finally study the process, the outcome, and also, most important, defenses against character, against character assassination. Just a humble attempt to study the subject. I give you, just to show you covers of two books we published recently on this subject. And we are going to do more and more and more. Just follow us and see what we have done. And who knows, maybe you can join our research and do something in this, in this field. But first things first, uh, character assassination is, is a process which always should be studied in a context, historical, political, cultural, psychological, individual context. Uh, it uh, involves an attacker or attackers, those who launch, start the attack. It's uh, always a method, so what they do and how they do. It's uh, always uh, involves a target. Uh, we study the outcomes, what happens as a result of character attack. And also we examine possible and actual defenses against those attacks. If attacks are successful, quote unquote, so the goal has been accomplished, we discuss the victim, so a person becomes a victim of character. I'm not saying that every character attack is vicious and unfair and wrong and venomous. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Quite often, you can imagine, we can criticize other people for, for their moral flaws, for their character uh, well, weaknesses, if you, if you will. However, however, many of them, if not most of those we study, usually are exaggerations lies or certain certain types which which not necessarily reflect the the reality reality so exaggerations and, and lies uh, character attacks attackers use uh, words images just one word several words and a new end a hunch or a a tyrant they attack it so in words images of course uh, images a variety of them uh, just post it, uh, print it, uh, disseminate it uh, in um, every possible way. There are tweets, of course, it's one of the most powerful ways and means to deliver character attacks. Uh, forms of rumors, person to person now in social networks, uh, Facebook and Twitter, and just in innuendo yeah, or direct attacks. There's a variety of methods used to, to launch those character attacks. We must say that character attacks are supposed to be deliberate. One may wonder, well, I didn't mean to say that, and I maybe offended somebody. It is not a character attack in most circumstances. It must be an intent, must be intentional act. So you want to hurt someone's reputation. You hurt reputation, but reputation is not something tangible. It's not just a bunch of blocks. You put them together and hold them together with the glue. No. no. Uh, this is a tricky, right? But, but our reputation is in people's minds, in people's perceptions, in their memories, in their comments, in their tweets, in their postings, in their reflections of who we are. And therefore, every character attack we believe is public in nature. Goal, of course, of character attacker attackers to make sure that well, the, we influence or they influence uh, uh, 
pe what, what people think about other individuals. As I put it here, the goal of the attacker is to influence the way a person who is attacked is seen by, by uh, and judged, judged by, by others. And also, uh, we, in our studies, we focus on individuals. It's tempting to discuss large social groups and so prejudice and stereotyping of, of professions, ethnic groups, nationalities. It's, it's a subject which is quite interesting to study. We know that studies exist. However, we focus on individuals, individuals, individual attacks, what, uh, what we, we study and what, what we, we write about. Well, uh, main goals of character attack, of course. Um, so what they want to achieve, of course, they, they uh, try to exaggerate. The goal is to exaggerate person's problems. Imagine somebody has lied and just didn't say things tr truthfully. It happens, the person apologized, but, but the attacker would exaggerate and repeat and repeat and bring it again and again and again, just to emphasize this, this, the, the size of it, or overemphasize the problem that has happened in, in the past. Well, diminishing personal strength. A person may appear flawless, and how can you compete against this individual? It's an electoral office or something else. Well, the attackers, attackers try to diminish this person's strengths, moral strengths or professional strengths by, by referring to his or her individual features within the character. Well, ignoring someone's accomplishment, just not mentioning. It's a form of a character attack. Very, very uh, sort of uh, special, surreptitious, but it is, it is. Ignoring, just deleting, uh, not mentioning, just, or mentioning just matter-of-factly in the end. Just that, that's, that's deliberate, deliberate, diminishing someone's, someone's uh, uh, accomplishments or input. Lies, it's one of the favorite methods of character attack. Well, lies is a form of uh, gross exaggeration, so making up stories. Well, people may say, well, this uh, smoke must be fire. There's something must be, must be there. And, and, and then, then just to start thinking about of what the lie means, if it's a lie or not, and, but the reputation is already, already touched, touched. So the goal is to create unpleasant associations about the person, unpleasant, no matter how, uh, what kind of associations? It's just a different story, but you have to create those, those associations as a, as a character attacker. And finally, damaging of, of person's, person's character. But again, damage takes place in people's perceptions, in their reflections, in their memory about an individual. About the individual. As a research lab, uh, of course, we don't sit in a, a tiny room and just uh, with the curtains drawn and just, just do our research. We, we, we travel, uh, we write, we examine uh, articles, papers, study cases, conduct interviews. interviews. Um, we look at historical cases uh, and so plenty of them, ancient Rome, ancient Greece, ancient Egypt, uh, those kingdoms uh, in Central Asia, European kingdoms, and, and some more recent history. It's, it's a rich, rich a plethora of, of, of cases that uh, we pay attention to. Uh, we look at individuals. Uh, uh, it's, it's what happens when, when people start the attack. The mecha mechanics, mechanisms, the rhetoric, the, the structure of language, um, the, uh, the sentences are which are used and the content of those sentences. Uh, also individuals themselves, what happens within them, within them and then how they respond. One of the fascinating subjects is vulnerability. You know, uh, we all vulnerable. Even, even a person may be completely, uh, well, accomplished, great, and yet an attacker finds something in this individual to criticize, and not for, for the merit, based on merits, but based on, based on just perceptions. The car you drive or don't, the type of car you drive, uh, your travels, the people you see, the clothes you wear, your background, your ethnic uh, background also can matter. So wait a minute, what, what, how come my background may, well, people just will use it behind your back to say something, to mock, uh, mention something about that. So just, just the vulnerabilities exist, exist. 
even though even the person may, may try to do everything perfectly, have mo high moral standards, the attackers find those vulnerabilities. Uh, and this, this uh, identifying uh, a person's vulnerabilities, we can predict those attacks. And it's important in business, in politics, uh, in many forms of social life, unfortunately, unfortunately, there are people, there will be people who try to attack us for whatever reason they're fine. And therefore, knowing potential attacks helps individuals, help individuals de develop those defenses. That's what's most interesting and most intriguing, most difficult, complicated aspect of, of our work, defenses against it. Dilemma is very, a dilemma is very, very clear here. It's clear. It's either, either to respond in kind, an eye for an eye, or, or not to respond, ignore. Both answers have uh, advantages and both have vulnerabilities and the many answers in between. But how to respond? If you accuse unfairly, what do you do? Just you, you quit and don't say anything, or you, you get angry and respond. We'll study this later uh, and explain to you later just the best techniques. Uh, which you can choose against uh, unfair attacks. Uh, our uh, research team, I'll uh, just give you four founding members, wonderful individuals, my colleagues and good friends. Uh, Jennifer Cohane, University of Baltimore. Sergei Samolinka, George Mason University. Martin X, University of Amsterdam. And yours truly, Eric Shriver, George Mason University. We come from different backgrounds, uh, research backgrounds. Uh, Jennifer comes from rhetoric. Sergey comes from public relations perspective. Martin is our historian. And Eric Shariv, yours truly, comes from political science and psychology, for convenience for political psychology, political and psychological aspects. We learn from each other, we study from each other, study materials of each other, and we try to be uh, multidisciplinary. And there are many of our colleagues and good colleagues and uh, friends and acquaintances on all continents except Antarctica, I believe. Uh, and so we are all productive and so I hope we will develop our uh, work together for many years uh, to, to come. It, in just in particular, we study, for example, uh, the, the distinctions between character attack uh, and uh, criticisms criticisms and they overlap of course uh, however character attacks are about the character criticisms uh, uh, are uh, actions which deal with with substance with substance uh, not with character not necessarily character but with substance uh, the professional accomplishments or formulas we invent uh, or theorems we try to put together uh, research findings uh, deeds but character attacks are about character uh, we try to make it make it uh, quantifiable, stronger or weaker attacks, uh, uh, more more visible, less visible outcome, uh, and so other quantifiable measures. It's difficult, tricky, of course. Not everything is human behavior, human experience is measurable, but we'll try. We we'll try to do, uh, doing this. Uh, backfires, character attacks often backfire, and so we'll look at, at conditions contexts uh, and, and content of attacks that have been unsuccessful, the backfire against those who launched them. And also, of course, key question of all questions. I uh, will repeat myself again and again. Defenses, what do we do to protect those who become victims? Victims of bullying, victims of lying, victims of vicious attacks. Uh, and uh, of, uh, methods are multiple, methods uh, are uh, certainly less and more effective, depends on many other factors, but we also study it's one of the central features of our, our research. Uh, we've done many things in the past. It's just, just a, a sample of uh, uh, our research meetings uh, uh, and dates uh, uh, and uh, uh, what we have done so far. Uh, we uh, are uh, putting together a textbook on character assassination, is a textbook which uh, will show the students and those who are interested as the the nuts and bolts of character attacks. 
is how this happened, when it happens, the outcomes, the cases, defenses, analysis, just that somebody had to do it and we're doing this at, at this moment. And the plans are also quite uh, busy for the uh, next uh, few years, few years. Uh, you can easily find us uh, on, the, on the web, uh, just keywords, uh, CARP Research Lab, or the Lab for Character Assassination Reputation Politics CARP Lab. We are on Twitter, of course, we are on Facebook, Character Assassination. Uh, we are on LinkedIn, uh, and so also we have our own website. website. So uh, please uh, feel free to, to contact us, and uh, I'll see you later.